Hi y'all, welcome back. My name is Sarah. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe. It's free. Need I say more? Today I am doing another styling video. A couple days ago, one of you lovely people DM me on Instagram and suggested I do a Hoka styling video. Seeing as I am extremely passionate about Hoka's, I thought it only right that I do this and I'm actually very excited to do it. I am super, super grateful that I do have quite a few pairs of Hoka's. This video is not sponsored by them or anything like that. They definitely are my favorite shoe. I think they're super versatile. I think there are limitless ways to style Hoka's, not just for activities, even though that's one of the main things I do wear them for. Also just everyday wear. So I'm gonna go through and give you 10 outfits that I think are super cute with Hoka's, but also with other shoes. Everything will be listed down below. Unfortunately, some of these pairs that I have are or were limited edition, so they're not still available. However, Hoka often re-releases similar colors or the exact same colors, but if it's available online, it will be linked down below. Otherwise, I will just let you know what the style name is so you can try and find them for yourself. Let's get to styling. First look, I am wearing a little Lacosta dress. One of my favorite styles or trends or thing that has happened in the little last little bit is people styling dresses with sneakers because why the fuck not? It just makes sense. I want to look cute, but I'm trotting my way around my neighborhood or the city or wherever, so I want to be comfy. So this is one of my go-to sort of outfits. I'll have a different, like a couple different dresses to style them with, but I really love the way this looks. Wearing these with a gray pair. I really love gray sneakers. I also do love tall socks, but you obviously can wear like no shows or whatever. Um, but I just thought this was a really cute look. I recently just got this cute little Sherpa bag from Cloud Hunter, so I thought that would be cute with this. What do we think? I really love this. I feel good in it. And you could obviously accessorize. You know, my favorite thing to do is just add a pair of sunglasses, so. <laughs> Donnie pants. I just got these and I'm obsessed. I have never really been a fan of, I don't know, not jeans. Anything that's not jeans, I've never been a fan of until recently. And now I don't know why I don't wear comfy pants more often. Love these Donnie pants and then I paired them with my sort of, they're called almond, so not white but off white so they kind of match a little bit more. I'm wearing a white just tanked up underneath with this cute little thrifted sweater vest. I feel like this is giving me, I wanna go get an ice cream cone vibes, I don't know. <laughs> and then this little vintage bag to go with. I just thought this was a really cute combination. Again, cute, comfy, cool, calm, collected. And then if I really wanted to play into this color palette, I could wear these red shade sunnies. I love it. I feel so good in this. I feel really comfy and I feel like this is a great way to style these. Like some flowy pants, no matter what kind of flowy pants you have. something active wear since we are styling running shoes. I have run in one, two, three, three of these five pairs by the way. Those Clifton Sixes, my first Hoka's, have aged out. You can't run on running shoes forever. You should technically be replacing them every six months if you're running often. So these are currently in rotation of my running shoes and those ones I just walk in. I did just get the Bondi 7s though. I think these are going to be my new actual running shoes because they're a lot more cushiony but just wanted to let you know. <laughs> this next look, I wanted to do an active wear look. Obviously, I think this goes without saying, but these are meant to be worn with like your running shorts or your yoga pants or whatever. But this is more essentially about how to style these outside of working out. But I did want to include an active wear outfit. I just got this little set from La Causa Flow. I am pretty in love with this color. I will say that this top provides little to no support whatsoever, so unless you're doing some very 
low intensity or low impact yoga, you're probably not gonna wanna be doing anything too crazy in this. Super comfy, really nice quality, love the color. And I paired it with the same ones that I did in my last book, these kind of almond colored ones. I felt like the white was too stark with this color. Did it with my Patagonia fanny pack, which I've actually been using a lot more recently because I haven't been into like taking a bag. So you could do front look, back look. I love my fanny pack. I was another thing that I really welcomed coming back into style, but Love this look, I think it's really cute. I know some of you are not gonna like this look, but here is my Hoka Beach look. I've actually been wearing these new Hoparas to the beach quite often. There's a lot of lakes here. There's a lot of like terrain to get over, to get where you want to swim. And so I have been wearing these and I love them. They're waterproof. They're essentially really comfy water shoes and I have no shame. <laughs> this is what I've been wearing. I have been doing the classic sarong uh, this summer because I'm doing laser on my bikini line so I can be exposed to the sun. So I've been wearing this every time I go to the beach or to the lake or whatever and been loving it and I think this is I think it's cute. I really like it. You can wear these on like any sort of beach excursions, obviously. I've also been wearing them with socks. I know, I know. I feel good in it and I also just feel very like ready to go anywhere. No Birkenstocks here. <laughs> This one is super simple, but something I think is pretty attainable for just about anybody and something I would lean to really often. I can see myself wearing this for months and months on end without getting tired of it. I'm just wearing a pair of La Causa trousers. Uh, these are their cedar trousers in the toast color. I love their pants. They're so comfy. They fit really well and I think they're just like very timeless. I decided to go with my OG. These are the first pair of pokas I ever got with the rainbow laces to kind of, you know, jazz it up a little bit. And then this big vintage tee, I just got this at like probably Goodwill in Bellingham. Um, I love it, I've been, I wear it pretty often. It's not very flattering, but I do, you know, feel good in big baggy clothes. And then just this Cozen Numbers bag, some sunnies. You got yourself a look. Okay, another very simple outfit, but necessary outfit, and that's just doing jeans and a button-up. I love that these jeans fall over the sneakers. I typically lean towards crop pants, but I have slowly been moving into a longer pant. I just found these at Valley Village in the men's section. Great place to look if you are looking for some vintage jeans. I find that the women's section is typically only skinny jeans and I don't want to take away from the larger sizes in the women's section, so I go to the men's section. Just a button up, like another thing I found at the thrift store, this cause bag, I'm wearing the almond colored ones again, and a pair of white frame sunnies. I think this is super cute. I've been really loving not buttoning up my button downs all the way to kind of get that little, I don't know what kind of action this is, but this kind of action. <laughs> And uh, I just think this is really cute. I feel good in it. I think jeans and like a button up is a pretty common thing that we all wear. So I figure why not also style them with some. Here's the next outfit. This is something that I wear pretty much daily. If you see me bopping around town, this is probably what I'm wearing. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever tried these Bondi 7s on and they're unreal. Uh, I also wanted to mention that something that just popped into my head is that I wear my true size US 6 and all of the Hopas. Oh my god, I just remembered another pair of Hopas I have. It's too late. We can't backpedal now. Anyways, 
Uh, these are the Bondi 7s. This is something I would wear with probably a more active wear look. Like I said before, these are probably going to be my main running shoes, so I won't really be using them to walk around in. I did want to show you how to style a chunkier shoe, I guess, with something. So this is probably what I would wear it with. Fun pair of bike shorts. These have become a closet staple for me. I have a black pair and then I have these pair and I don't find myself needing to get too many more. I'm just wearing a big t-shirt underneath and then this crew, pretty simple. If I was going out like this, I'd probably go hands-free, aka no bag, and just feel comfy, cool, maybe put on a pair of sunglasses. I really love this outfit. I know it's kind of boring, but I really feel good in it, and this is a very realistic way that I would style a chunkier hoka. These ones are definitely have a lot more soul to them than uh, the other ones, and I don't mean like soul soul, like actual soul. <laughs> t-shirt I was wearing underneath my crew, added a pair of longer uh, denim shorts, I just got these from the thrift store and chopped them, and then added a trench, straw bag, and then I'm wearing the grey Clifton's again, and I thought this was really cute, I don't know, I would wear this to run errands or something on a colder day, uh, I really love the way denim shorts look with the hokas, and then I thought the trench would be like a kind of a interest piece, I don't love the way trenches look from behind when you're not wearing anything longer, but if I can just forget the fact that people can see me from behind, life's good, right? You obviously could do it without the trench as well. I think this is really cute, just like simple baggy tee, jean short look, so yeah. Probably is not gonna be long on everyone, but still cute with the hokas in my opinion. This is obviously a very loud print, but like I think it still works. I think for the most part, people probably style hokas and long dresses with like a black dress or something more simple, but I think this is cute and I wanted to do the extreme of what you could do <laughs> with the hokas. Just paired it with a little um, little black bag that I got at the thrift store, and yeah. I think this is cute. I would definitely wear this out. I would not object to this. 